What's up guys? Uh, welcome to today's video. I'm at Alpha Land right now, but I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second about why I missed the last episode last week. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you guys remember when I was in Arizona, I had talked about adopting those two dogs that my girl was fostering. Um, unfortunately, on Thanksgiving, she had to leave Arizona and her two roommates like were unable to watch the dogs for some reason and they gave them to some kid at ASU I'm not gonna say his name even though he deserves to die um, took the dogs in a pickup truck with no leash they jumped out of the back and ran away because obviously you're not supposed to leave dogs in the back of a pickup truck with no leash fucking idiot uh, and one of them got hit by a car and died so Daisy unfortunately um, got hit by a car and died um, and I'm not gonna lie it's, it's kind of ruined um, a lot of my mood for the past week at this point I was really unable to train while I was in Georgia um, I didn't want to film at all and uh, I've been pretty upset but uh, today is the first video back on YouTube I apologize for the break guys um, I just needed a little bit of time to uh, you know be by myself and not really film wasn't in a good mood but um i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video it's gonna be a sneaker video update thrifting um pawn shop training day in the life eating all that kind of stuff um so i hope you guys enjoy the video but yeah just know that's why uh that's why i ended up missing monday's upload i do apologize but um yeah i, I just couldn't record um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i love you guys and um enjoy all right guys uh so we're having not our pre-workout meal but the meal before our pre-workout meal, or maybe even the meal before and before our pre-workout meal. I'm just hungry, so I'm eating. Um, Kyle has prescribed lean protein, rice, and then I took the liberty to add spicy mayo and onion. So there you go. Hopefully that focused. I have a problem focusing, I have ADHD. And then we also have 20 grams of a nut butter. So I'm using the Justin's almond butter. Pretty much all I do, Take the food scale, turn it on, wait for it to hit zero, add it, then wait for it to hit zero again, and then you can just eat as much as you want until it gets to the 20 grand mark. But yeah, pretty much I'm gonna just take you guys through my day. I got legs today. I'm working out with Shawley. I have not worked out with Shawley in a minute. He's been working out in the morning, but he was like, yo, let's catch a lift. I said, all right, I got you, my boy. I don't know why we agreed to hit legs, but I'm definitely not in the mood to do legs whatsoever. But after I finish this meal, I do want to show you guys some of the shoes I picked up. I made an like a fucking crazy advancement. I'm going to give you guys a little update on the sneaker reselling challenge. And um, maybe we'll use some of the clips from the last few videos that we recorded for episode two. In this one, and kind of make it like an episode two and day in the life type of uh, reselling, working out video. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. I'm going to eat this meal, <clears throat> drink hella water, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Yeah. All right, guys, so we agreed on 800 for all of the pairs. Homie's moving, doesn't want to move with all the stuff. So I'm, he's offloading everything to me. But yeah, we're paying 800 for all the pairs. So I'll tell you guys everything when we get inside and I can like line everything up. So I don't know if you heard um, in some of the footage, I did find five pairs that were rep. I really don't care. Uh, the reason why I don't care is I don't want you guys going out and buying reps for an absurd amount of money. The reason why I don't care is replica shoes still have some value. It is deceitful to sell somebody a pair of shoes knowing that they are replicas. And I, bro, I think it's fucked up. I think it's, I think you're scum on earth if you sell a pair of shoes that are reps as real. The reason why I'm not mad is because number one, I knew he knew they were reps. I knew that shit. Because if you have one pair of reps, a lot of them, every single time one thing looks wrong, sets a trigger off in my head, I'm gonna just send it to check check. I found five pairs. The other, I bought 28 pairs of shoes. The other 23 pairs of shoes were all real. Five pairs were reps. That was the Travs, the Off-White 4s, Off-White Jordan 1 Chicago High, brand new. If you guys know anything about replica shoes, they still cost money. A brand new pair of Jordan 1 Chicago Off-White uh, like 1 Highs is like 160 bucks. Am I gonna sell them for 160 bucks? No. I'll probably sell them for 120 bucks cash local i paid 800 dollars for every single pair so if you average it out that's like literally 30 dollars a pair if that all right guys so since the last time we talked 
about the sneaker challenge, we've had a lot of updates. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys every pair of shoes. I do have a couple buyers lined up already. Yeah, I feel like if you guys see something you wanna you wanna see, we'll uh we'll make it happen. Just DM the IG. But I'm gonna take you guys step by step, and also some of them are replicas, um, reps. I usually don't condone selling reps, but this is a challenge of going from 1,000 to 10,000 as quickly as possible. And reps do have value. So I paid $800 for all of the shoes. Some of them are completely destroyed in pieces of shit, and some of them are definitely worth money. So I bought, what, 28 pairs of shoes, I think. If each one sells for $100, which the average will be more than $100, I'm chilling. So I'm gonna sell the reps for like rep prices. I'm not gonna charge $1,000 for Travis Scott um, dunks. When they're reps, they're worth like 100 bucks. You buy reps overseas, they're still like 160. I'll probably sell them for like 100 bucks plus shipping and we'll call it a day. But I'm gonna take you guys through every single pair of shoes that I did buy. And um, yeah, so there's, I'm gonna start off with these three pairs. These were all pretty fucking ugly and cooked. So there's this pair of off-white dunks. Those were reps, but they're pretty fucking beat. Um, I don't know why he did this to a brand new pair of Air Force Ones. Legitimately wore these one time. Um, and like dip dyed them. I don't know, maybe that's somebody's taste. I'll probably list them on Mercari, see if anyone wants them for like 60, 80 bucks. He customized these off-white lows. Again, no idea. Absolutely no idea. This kid, this kid tried to be like a fashion guy. Zero understanding of fashion. Actually, actually looked like he ate, ate fucking shit from fucking Willy Wonka's chocolate factory ass. And then he fucking destroyed this pair. Again, this was the lot one. Um, made them red. This isn't as bad. I would never put this fucking period blood ass Satan's Satan's vagina shoe on my fucking foot. Like, yeah, I would legitimately never put this fucking period blood off white shoe on my foot. But um, maybe somebody would. And they are like brand new. So those are the shitty pairs, and we're gonna get into the good pairs. So I have Travis Scott Dunk Lows, all the extra laces. Those are replicas. Band ones. These are not replicas. Great quality on these. They're practically brand new. So this pair alone is worth a decent amount of money. Not replicas. Mochas. These uh, I was questionable on, but I sent them through Check Check and they came back as real. The suede on them is decent. Um, so there's mochas. These are all these are all like size nine to nine and a half. I think majority of them are nine and a half. Then we have the guava, I think, no. The black Union 4s, these are replicas. Very good condition. Still reps, but good condition. Then we have this brand new pair of the 550 um, Syracuse New Balances. Those are worth around 170 bucks. Um, so that's a huge boost to the counter considering we spent 800. The blue pair, which again, like I said guys, dude has zero understanding of fashion. Decided to try to age the soles on these. They kind of got beat up a little bit from the soles. Great condition, if I can get these off, if I can get off the aging, it'll be a lot better. Um, then we have a fake pair of off-white fours. Not terrible condition, worth around 80 to 100 bucks. Uh, oh my God, my knees are cracking. Then we got, what are these? Oh, Yeezys, I'm pretty sure these are real. The boost feels fine. And I'm gonna send them through Check Check just to be sure. I never wanna sell shoes saying they're real when they're not real. Then he had replica off-white Jordan 1s. Those are brand new, so those are worth like 130 bucks. Um, same thing with these Travis Scott 1s. These are, pretty sure these are replicas. I have to send these through Check Check as well. Um, I might have already sent them through. I just gotta check. I would say they're probably reps. So, 100 bucks. Strange Love Dunks. I'm pretty sure these are real. They come with all the box and equipment. The box on these is sick. Strange little dunks. I'll fix that in a minute. Then we have some Yeezy 700. Uh, 100 bucks. Coastal dunks. Those are legit, 200 bucks. Uh, CDG Converse, another like 100 bucks. Um, give or take, I'm not 100% sure. Then some 12 lows, those are about 100 bucks. 
Um, he did have a pair of the 2002 R's. Uh, these are real, and I did get an offer on that pair. Some mids, those are like 200 bucks. Ugly ass dad shoes. Another pair of ugly ass dad shoes. These Prada Cloudbursts, um, whatever the fuck, those are brand new. These are like 150 bucks. Hirachis. I fucking hate Hirachis. Some Spizikes, Union Force, those are also reps, but 150 bucks is 150 bucks. These are like brand new um, bread lows, like literally worn maybe a couple times. All the stars are still those. those these are expensive. These are like 200 bucks. These I'm pretty sure are legit, but there's this pair. Those look good. Um, can't ever be 100% sure, so I'm gonna get them checked. Curry Dunks, Travis Scott Sixes. These um, I'm pretty sure are reps. I would guess that they're reps. Uh, everything looks great, but you know, the kid has a bunch of reps, so I'm assuming they're all reps. Civilist Dunks, these are the ones that change colors. Maybe I'll show you guys them changing colors. Some Obsidians, pretty sure those are legit. Everything on those looked great. Some Louis Vuitton shoes. Then we got Air Max 95s, those are like 50 bucks. And last but not least, a pretty uh, dead stock new pair of Jordan 11 Lowe's. So that's every pair of shoes I bought from this kid. If I had to guess, I'd say I'd be able, I'd be able to turn the 800 into around 3,400, which is pretty nice. Uh, estimate, but $3,400, which would be a huge boost to the counter. And then, all right, then I have a couple more shoe updates. I know this is a long shoe video. I'm trying to find a way to mix shoes and like fashion and fitness all in one, and it's very hard to do. I might have to legitimately start the second channel. But these are all the shoes that I bought while I was in um, Arizona. We have a dead stock pair. These were brand new. The Jordan 6 Electro Green. I bought these with these. The Wool 3s. I paid $200, $209. Um, I think that was in the Arizona video. Then I think I bought these here while I was in Texas as part of this video as well. We have the shoes, the 4s. Dead stock pair of the Jordan 1 Mids. And ugh. then yeah, you guys saw this as well. The $10, $7 uh, Jordan 1 Lowe's. Georgia shoes, the shoes I bought while I was in Georgia. These two pairs for $100 total. Brand new pair of Jordan 5 Bel Airs. Dead stock, brand new pair for $50. I paid $100 for these two. Um, combined with a pair of the Zen Green uh, Jordan 1s, also dead stock and brand new. Uh, I paid $100 total. The value of the two of these is probably close to like 350 bucks. And then I bought these at a pawn shop for $160. They wanted $200. Um, Warren once pair, Jordan 4, infrared. The receipt here says $160. There you go. That's everything I bought so far. I have all the other, some other shoes that sold, not sold. Um, got a ship, don't got a ship, all that shit. Oh, also, I'm becoming a boxer. Bought boxing gloves, but we're gonna go check a few pawn shops out, head to the gym, hit legs. Told you guys I'm gonna show you that the shoes changed. So they're black. Fifteen seconds in the microwave. Nah, that's crazy. I need a pair of these bitches. That's wild. That shit look like this be like bitches, bro. You think you date one girl, it turns out you dating something else, something crazy and something insane. A, a girl, you take her home, she got a cock. So this shoe is. Guys, we're back at the first Cash America Pond where we came, where I bought all of those shoes that one day. So we're gonna see if we can find more. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll look. All right, guys. I'm not. I'm not gonna put you in the video. Don't worry. I'm buying shoes. She was selling them at the pawn shop. Now I'm buying them. We got, we got Syracuse Dunks, 12s, more Dunks, more ones, some 11 lows, 
and some Yeezys, and you have you have more too at your house. You want to meet tomorrow? I'll buy them all. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> you said two twenty, uh, two thirty for all of them, right? All right, guys. Um, so we I left the pawn shop. I did not buy anything from the actual pawn shop. I just went straight to the fucking cellar. <laughs> Can they see? Because there's that sunlight yeah, behind me. I'll oh, make sure I don't look hideous. But I probably look ugly either way. But um, I just walked in. I was like, yo, are you selling those? And she said, yeah. And then the person was like, we'll give the 120 for all four pairs. She had like six or seven pairs. And I was like, I'll give you, I'll give you 230. And she was like, okay. So I bought all the pairs for 230. And I think I'm going to go back tomorrow. I do feel really bad though. Um, she told me her son passed away. He owned some company and had a bunch of shoes. She said he has like a bunch more shoes like Balenciaga, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, like all real stuff. Um, he owned this like nice company, I guess. And unfortunately he was murdered. Um, I feel bad, uh, but I'm a helper. I'm a helper out by buying all the shoes and um, dispersing them for good prices to all you guys. Love y'all, hope you guys enjoy the shoes. Going to the gym. butt all the way down they know i got a fatty bro we're gonna get some groceries all right first stop on our world tour oikos triple zero greek yogurt two containers all right we're gonna see if my ex-girlfriend is on sale today nine bucks nine dollars for my ex-girlfriend that's about how much she's worth i already have chicken at home so we got three Four steaks, one, two, three, four steaks, 11 bucks, you know? $23, half off, more than half off. And then I got two packs of 90-10. We are bulking, so I can have the 90-10. I don't need 96-4 or 93-7. All right, we're still waiting for our Flex Pro meals to come through to the crib. So I got my potatoes and shit in there. So we're just gonna pick up some rice while I wait for my potatoes and shit from Flex Pro. So we got guac and pico de gallo. It's $1.60 on sale. Always wait till your shit's on sale, bro. You don't want to pay full price for nothing. So a lot of you guys are probably asking yourselves, like, yo, bro, you're stealing this from people. Like, people have problems. They need this. Like, bro, I have a problem. Like, I'm burning too many calories in a day that I just keep losing weight. I went to Georgia, lost seven pounds. Um, holy shit, that's a big-ass sushi tray. Beep, beep, beep. But yeah, so the reason why I'm on one of these carts is so that I don't burn calories from walking and I'm able to actually bulk. Kyle told me to lower my steps and to not do cardio. So let's get sushi. <laughs> Ooh. All right, guys, I'm watching the World Cup. Yeah, look at this shit. Look at my name, Tren, with E-T. That is my Peacock account. So if you guys are trying to sign in, the email is Tren at gmail.com and the password is Tren1. That's literally the thing. So if you guys wanna watch the World Cup, there you go. But um, that wraps up today's video. Unfortunately, I do not know why. The microphone was not plugged in while I was eating dinner last night, so you were not able to hear my masterpiece of making steak with guac pico low wraps and shit. But um, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below, um, like, comment, subscribe, of course, and uh, comment what video ideas you guys wanna see next. Um, I wanna take them all into consideration and uh, kinda build on what you guys wanna see. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and uh, 
Love you guys. Have a good day. And go to the gym, you lazy shit.